A very popular topic in the IT world is virtualization. So in this video, I want to take some time to talk about virtualization and virtual machines. What are they? Why are they so popular? To put it simply, uh, virtualization or VMs are a software version of a computer, or you can also think of it as a simulation of a computer. That means on your computer right now, you could run a software that allows you to simulate another computer. You could even run a virtual machine inside the other virtual machine. But unlike Inception, the virtual machine doesn't care if it knows whether it's the real computer or not. As far as it's concerned, it's just another computer existing in the world doing some computation. You, you might be saying, wait, a computer inside another computer? How does that make sense? Isn't a computer just a physical box? Yes, technically, um, but hold on, give me a second. So here I have a traditional computer, right? And inside of this, there are computer components like RAM, CPU, uh, maybe a dedicated GPU. And to interact with this computer, you need an operating system like Windows or Linux or Mac. But let's say because you're an aspiring software developer or a system administrator, you want to learn Linux. Does that mean you have to get another computer just to install Linux on it? No. What virtualization allows us to do, or specifically the virtualization software, it allows us to divide up some of the resources from your computer and lets it use it for another operating system. And that software that lets us emulate virtual machines is called a hypervisor. Now, there are two main types of hypervisors, simply named type one and type two. In type one hypervisor, also known as bare metal hypervisor, the virtualization software is installed directly onto the hardware. So instead of operating systems like Windows or Linux uh, or in any other popular operating systems, you would install a virtualization software such as VMware ESXi or Microsoft Hyper-V. This makes type one hypervisors much more faster and secure than type two hypervisors. Type two hypervisors, on the other hand, are just like any other applications on your computer. They run on top of the operating systems that is already there. A couple of popular options are VirtualBox and VMware Workstation. The main benefit of type two hypervisor is that it's really easy to install. It is just like installing another application on your computer and running it. Anyone can install the application and spin up different operating systems, which makes testing and learning much, much easier. So by now you might be seeing the many benefits of virtualization, but let me break them down further for you. Benefit number one is saving on expenses. Virtualization allows you to install many different computers on a single physical hardware. This eliminates having to install a single server for every single service or operating system that you want to install. In this case, there's cost savings, both in the fact that you don't have to buy a bunch of servers, but also the amount of hours that you have to spend setting up those other additional physical servers. Benefit number two is flexibility and speed. Virtual machines are very, very easy to set up, very, very easy to migrate, and very, very easy to backup, which means it's faster to set them up when requested. They are easy to move around in case there is a request to do so. Uh, and finally, they're, they're easy to recover if something goes wrong, assuming you keep backup settled. Also, another good example of a use case is if you're a software developer and you want you have an idea that you want to test, instead of having to ask the IT department or, or yourself um, to set up a whole physical system for you, you could just run a VM locally on your computer and have a proof of, a proof of concept much faster. And related to that, the benefit number three is minimum downtime. Normally, if a physical server goes down, uh, the IT department has to run around, try to figure out what's wrong with it, um, and then fix anything uh, that's broken. And this could take a while, sometimes even a day or more. Whereas virtual machines are very easy to replicate and clone and can be brought back up in a matter of minutes. There are a lot more benefits of virtualization, and I wouldn't have time to list them all in this video. But one of the biggest impacts virtualization has had on the whole world is its contribution to cloud computing. While I won't get into cloud computing in this video, I'm sure everyone here has at least heard of it and knows that it's a big deal in this world. Well, 
cloud computing would not be possible without virtualization. In fact, cloud computing is practically virtualization on, an, on a massive scale, which makes virtualization one of the biggest concepts in information technology. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, until the next time, peace.